Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my beauty box unboxings for the month of October. Birchbox, Ipsy, and BoxyCharm. So if you want to unbox these with me and see what's inside, then keep on watching. I'm going to start off with Birchbox first. And this month's box is quite simple compared to all the previous boxes. Sometimes it's like crazy floral prints, geometric shapes. I don't know what, but it's super simple and I really, really like it. So let's see what's inside. I don't know why I did that. Of course, we have a little postcard in here with all the products on the back. Um, the first thing I'm going to pull out is actually probably one of the tiniest and cutest little lipsticks I've ever seen in my life. This is by the company Make, and this is a silk cream lipstick in the color Taffy. It's a hydrating, antioxidant-rich lipstick, double duty as a moisturizing treatment, so you'll have smudge-proof, long-lasting color, and conditioned lips. The full size is $25.00. This is the full size, guys. No, I'm just kidding. Duh. So it's not super opaque. It has like a sheer to medium coverage the more you build it up. Um, the formula is very interesting. It's a pretty pink shade. I'm going to leave that on the back of my hand and see if it is smudge proof or what happens to it in a few seconds. Next thing in here we have is by Prescriptives. And it's a camouflage cream. It comes in a little tube. This is a long-wearing, crease-free, buildable coverage concealer cream that camouflages dark circles, blemishes, and imperfections. This is in light cool, and the full size is 22. This shade is really, really, really light, and it does have, like, kind of a cool tone pinkiness to it. I'm going to open this up and also swatch this on the back of my hand. Oh, goodness. Oh, that came out a lot. It is really, really creamy. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. It's a very thin consistency. It doesn't feel heavy or cakey. Um, I can definitely see this working really nicely. It's not thick, so it's definitely, I don't think it's going to crease. So, yeah, I need to wipe my hands now. Oops. Next thing in here we have is by Dr. Brandt, and this is a microdermabrasion age-defying exfoliator. I think I have tried this before, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the full size is $79, quite pricey, but it exfoliates, softens skin while reducing fine lines and scars over time. Use once or twice a week, let skin rest for three days between treatments. So, it's an exfoliator. I really, really need that right now because my skin is horrid. I don't know why, but it's horrid, um, and I need a really good exfoliator, so I'm going to give this a try. Yeah, cool. Next thing in here we have is by R & Co. It's the Death Valley Dry Shampoo. The full size is $17 to $29. I'm assuming it comes in different sizes. Um, I'm not sure if this is the $17 one. I could not tell you. But this is a style refreshing spray that absorbs excess oil, gives hair volume and body, and adds tousled texture. Which, that's kind of cool. I don't use a lot of dry shampoos. <laughs> smells kind of like powdery, like that powder smell, which a lot of dry shampoos do. Um, so I don't know. I've never really tried dry shampoo, dry, dry shampoos. I wash my hair a lot, so I never wait for it to ever get like greasy looking, but I hear it's really good for adding volume and texture to your hair too. So I'll try to do that one day because my hair is really flat on top. So maybe I need a dry shampoo. And the last thing in here we have is another hair product. This is by Oribe. Oribe. This is the Grandiose Hair Plumping Mousse. The full size is $38. Each luxe dose of mousse gives your hair exaggerated yet super soft body and volume without any crunchiness. The only crunchy I like is in my peanut butter. It doesn't say that. I haven't used a hair mousse since high school. <laughs> so I will definitely give that a try because I actually really do love Oribe products. They have amazing stuff. They're really expensive, really pricey. But, uh, yeah, they're good. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the lipstick on the back of my hand. <laughs> it's smudged. Uh, it's smudged, and the more you blend it, it kind of turns into, like, a cream blush consistency where it kind of becomes, like, a softer, sheer wash. If that makes any sense? I don't know how it's going to perform on the lips. Maybe it is smudge-proof on the lips, but not the hand. That is everything in my birch box. It was a so-so kind of box. Um, I don't know. I like the Oribe uh, hair product. I'm definitely going to give that a try. I haven't used like mousses in forever. Am I still able? And the exfoliator is really nice too. The concealer, I'm going to give it a try and see how it is. The color is very pink for me. 
personally. So yeah, now we are going to move on to my Ipsy bag. So here we have October's Ipsy bag, and you guys, I'm obsessed with this bag. I think it's the cutest thing in the world. It's probably my favorite bag I've gotten from Ipsy. Um, I recognize the artwork on this as soon as I got it. This is a Ipsy and Valfrey little collaboration. I love the Valfrey artwork. I think it's so cute. Um, so yeah, that's the bag. Let's look inside. I'm so excited. And the little zipper has a ghost. Oh my god, the little zipper's a ghost. I'm, I'm dead. I'm gone. So the very first thing in here is by the Balm Cosmetics, and it's the Hot Mama Blush. It's this, like, tiny little blush square. I've gotten a lot of products like this from the Balm, like, little squares. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't really use them very much because I don't like having these around. But a lot of you guys told me in one of the other videos that I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, that I can actually depot this. So I'm going to depot this and put it in a Z palette, which would be so much more useful than having like these lying around. So thank you guys, and uh, I don't know why I didn't think of that. It's a very, ooh, that's a very beautiful kind of rose gold peachy shade. I really, really like that. Next. So next thing in here is by Noya, and this is a natural lipstick sample. Um, there's also a coupon on the back to get 25% off everything at Noya.com. Very cool, eco-friendly, made of bamboo. So the packaging is a bamboo with like flowers. I think I've actually gotten something from here before. Like a lip gloss. Maybe, possibly. This is very familiar to me. The actual lipstick inside doesn't have that packaging because it's like a little sample. Um, but this is in the color Current News. So it's a really pretty berry shade, like a deep berry shade, perfect for the fall. I don't wear a lot of deep lipsticks because I feel like they smudge easily. If I was going to wear a dark color, I generally go for like liquid lipsticks. They're not going to go anywhere. So yeah, we'll see about this shade. It is a really pretty color though, and it looks very creamy and moisturizing. Next up, ooh, something familiar. This is by Essence. This is the Super Fine Eyeliner Pen in Waterproof. I've actually used this thing for years. Like, I really, really like this. It's super affordable. I think you could find it on Ulta, if I'm not mistaken. But it's a really long, fine-tipped felt liner, and these are like one of my favorites. But it's like a lot longer than other ones, so I find it really easy to use. I don't know, I've just been using it for a really long time and I'm actually really excited about it. It is really waterproof. I remember drawing on like tattoos for Halloween once on my friend and they did not go anywhere. So that's great. <laughs> okay, next thing in here is a rollerball perfume, Eau de Parfum. And this is by Sarah Jessica Parker in Lovely. I did not know she had a perfume. Ooh, pretty. So that's like a full-size rollerball perfume. I'm so happy it's not one of those itty-bitty like one spritz and you're done. Um, so let's give it a smell. You know it's not bad at all. I actually really like this. It's a very mature smell, but it's also very comforting because I feel like it reminds me of like the older women in my life. I, I know that's gonna sound like, oh, grandma perfume. No, it's like... Something you'd find at like a Lancome or like an Estee Lauder. Does that make sense? I don't know, the more it's wearing down, the more I'm liking it. It's, it's becoming like a little bit fresher. So I'm gonna let that uh, marinate there for a second and we'll be back to it. And the last thing in here is by Adesi New York and this is an organic infused nail lacquer liquid chrome. I think I have tried something from this brand before. This is a full size nail polish. Holy moly, I'm gonna have to do a close-up. It's like if you've ever found seashells at the beach that are like open and it's like opalescent inside It's like this dark purpley blue green like I don't know what like magical goodness This is literally that what happens if I put a little bit over my nail polish I really want to try this out so I just painted my ring fingers. I'll do a close-up once it's dry, but that's so pretty. I feel like this is going to be a cool topper nail polish. You can definitely put it on top of like bluer colors to make it look more mermaidy, if that makes sense. But it has like purple, pink, blue, green, all up in there. Anyway, so that was everything in my Ipsy bag. I'm more excited about the bag than anything else because this is the cutest thing ever. I want this in a wallet, like the print. Like, I would use this as a wallet. Can I do that? Possibly. This is going in my purse. The perfume is nice. It's actually growing on me a lot. It's very soft and fresh. Mmm, that smells good. Nail polish, amazing. 
Um, the lipstick and the blush, I don't know how much I'm gonna actually use those. And the liner, of course, ducks. I love this and it's always good to have more. Ah, I just ruined my nail! Let's move on. And lastly, we have October's BoxyCharm. And as usual, just a quick reminder, I do have a link down below where you can sign up if you'd like. It is an affiliate link if you do want to support me. I appreciate it so very much. Let's see what's inside. We have the little postcard inside with all the products. The first thing that I see in here is by... Temp2, and this is a airbrush makeup brand, if I'm not mistaken. This is a shimmer bronzer. Uh, let me read my card. Um, this is a silicone-based formula and is oil-free, non-comedogenic, and hypoallergenic. Bronze and contour the complexion with this beautiful shimmer finish. Dab a few products, other products with clean fingers or synthetic bronzer brush, and apply where the sun naturally hits. So you don't have to have an airbrush for this. You can use it with your fingers or a brush, which is awesome, or beauty blender. I think that would be cool too. Um, this is full size and it's $29.50, so $30. I want to put some of this on the back of my hand and see what the color and the consistency looks like. Consistency is very creamy, um, blends really nicely. The more you blend it out, it becomes more of a natural skin finish. The color is very bronzy. I'm definitely going to try that out. It's not over the top shimmery. It's actually really pretty. It's not even like super glowy where you're gonna look awkward. I feel like this will actually give your skin a very natural but radiant look. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I actually really like that. I'm gonna give it a try. Let's see how it goes. All right, next thing in here is large and in charge. Um, this is a huge tube of Brio Gio Rosarco. I don't know why I have to say everything in an accent. It's very unnecessary. Um, blow dry perfection heat protectant cream. No sulfates, no silicones, no parabens. That's awesome. Let's read the little note. It's a full size product, $24. Naturally fortified with rosehip, argan, coconut oils. Protects, against, protects, protects against heat damage up to 425. Smooths hair and tames frizz and enhances shine and softness. Bunch of great stuff. We're gonna give this a try. What does it smell like? Oh, oh, smells very. I like how it smells. Okay, cool. Let's move on. So, next thing we have in here is a lip product, and this is by Starlux. What are you? This is a matte lip paint. This is a full size product, and it's $19. This is in the color. Oh god. Piquant? 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 Okay. So this is the color, it's actually really really pretty, it's kind of like this dusty plummy rose shade. It says that it is an incredibly smooth long wear velvety ultra matte formula that provides full coverage, um, I lost my place, uh, feels like you're not wearing anything on the lips and doesn't transfer into your drinking glass or the lips of your significant other. Okay, um, good to know. 12 hour wear with minimal touch ups. So the applicator is like a really small wand, so it kind of makes it apply a little bit patchy. So I'm just going to softly go over it once more. So that's the color on the back of my hand. I'm going to let it dry. Um, it did apply a little bit patchy only because it's a dark color. This applicator is like super small, so it just keeps making streaks. If it was like bigger, I feel like you would get more of like an opaque, smooth coverage. Color's pretty. So far the formula looks really nice. I'm gonna let that dry and see what happens if it is all it says it is. Next thing we have in here is a bubble wrapped and you know, I can't resist to, you know, pop a few. <laughs> okay, so this is the palette. Inside it looks like this. It comes with one of those double-ended sponge applicators. Those are the colors. So you kind of have like a soft brown, a really foiled looking gold and a really pretty shimmery pearl shade. It's the moment of truth. I'm gonna swatch each color on my fingers. They feel really, really nice. And that's what they look like. Actually, pigmentation is amazing. Let's swatch it on the back of my hand. Ooh, that gold. That is actually really, really nice. I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, also, there is the last thing in here, which they say kinda goes hand in hand together. And that is this Luxie Eye Blender Brush Pack. You yeah, guys, I love Luxie brushes. One of my favorite blending brushes are from Luxie. So you get three brushes. Three. Three. Um, that is freaking amazing. Um, 
This is a full size, obviously, hello. This is $36, and you guys, I freaking love these. Do I have these brushes? The 205, 229, and the 237. Maybe I don't have this one, which is super thin. You guys, I'm really excited right now. I love makeup brushes. I used to not be into makeup brushes because I was like, you know, they're so boring. I don't want to get brushes. I'd rather spend my money on actual products. But these days, like, I love brushes so much because the trick to having great makeup is having great brushes, you know? So, those are awesome. I'm actually really happy about this. I love everything that came in this one's BoxyCharm. Really pumped to try this out. I love these, duh. I'm pleasantly surprised and happy with the eyeshadows. What else did I get? Liquid lipstick that is still drying down on the back of my hand. It's like ever so slightly patchy, but I don't know if it's going to dry down more because as I'm kind of touching it, it is transferring. Um, but it does feel like a, it's going to be a very comfortable wearing liquid lip. I don't know if it's going to be super matte or how long it's going to take to dry. We shall see. I don't know. Oh, and the hair product, which I don't really blow dry my hair often or protect against heat. Which I, I should. I really should. Yeah. But yeah, that is everything. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have so much fun doing these unboxing videos for you guys. Um, and as usual, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Makeup by Jessie, because I'm always posting things on there. Swatches, products, selfies, things, such. You know, it's, it's fun. It's good. You know, I'm there like every day. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We are almost at 100k, you guys. That is crazy. We're at about 95k right now, and that's even crazy in itself, but 100k. Like, I wanted to hit 100 before the year ended, and I think it's gonna happen. I'm really excited. I cannot thank you guys enough for all the support and love. Thank you guys so much, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!